both sides of the respectable pound place. Oh, yeah. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was worthy of the great Khan Vitali Magnus. Look, he's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness. Oh, I'll let you through, sir. I should have clear you, the name is You're not allowed to be here, sir. sir Please I leave. Understand. That's you good, can't sir. enter without Keep being walking. searched. There's nothing here. Standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. This I'll be waiting upstairs in the recess. Will do. That was you. No sudden moves. Just put hands behind your head, big boy. Holy shit. That's right. Freeze right there. Let me see. Nice and easy. No sudden moves. Shit just got real. Be ready. Hello, sir. Keeping the big man safe, huh? Name Pinky. I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dawood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> nope, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. We military men are used to punctuality. I... I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. 
Yes, you men in the army with your papers. Super punctual. I get it. Are you making fun of me? That's so cruel. Do you do you know what a man is without his gun? <laughs> man in his pocket. Crying like a baby. Oh, you women will never understand. <laughs> and I don't think we ever will. I can't find it. Can't you just wear a waiter uniform? It would be pretty effective if you wanted to blend in. What? Are you trying to be my mother? My God, no! I need to dress professionally and show my papers. Do you not understand that? Okay. Thank you. How are you? Oh good, you're here. I presume this is my new recruit? I was getting quite impatient. You have your credentials on you? see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Come on, let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I'm going to I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. <laughs> it's just to be as half as good as you were. Only time will tell. You cocky idiot.
think we will get along just fine. You okay, hate this trust. I think I got the right man now. What to do? Thank you for your service. Oh, I'll take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. 